scotch tape can be used in many different ways. I'm going to show you how to use scotch tape in nail art. My boyfriend, for example, he uses scotch tape to shut me up when I'm talking too much. Anyways, these are the designs we're making today. Heart, bow, tiles, strawberry and pastel lines. So take out your polishes and scotch tape and let's begin. Nail art can be loads of fun and much easier to perfect with the help of a tape. It allows us to create perfect shapes and lines, which is great, especially if you're a bit clumsy like me. Today we're making five totally different nail art designs and all of them are made with the help of a scotch tape. First things first, applying a base coat is very important if you want your nails to stay healthy and beautiful. Strong colors can stain your nails and base coat also prevents your nails from being in direct contact with those nasty chemicals used in colored polishes. Let's start with this adorable heart design. Apply two coats of any base color of your choice. I'm using a very light pink. Since I'm making red hearts, a light or a super dark base will create the strongest contrast. Now it's time to use some tape. Cut a small piece like me and fold it in half. Don't fold it perfectly as you will have to unfold it later, so it's better to do it a bit more diagonally. Draw half of a heart on the edge where the tape is folded and cut it out with scissors. You can create many different designs this way. Star, butterfly, flower, anything symmetrical. Unfold the tape and you get a hole with the shape of a heart. Place it on the middle of your nail and make sure the heart edges are firmly stick to get those precise, sharp lines. I want my heart to have a gentle ombre effect, so I'm taking a cosmetic sponge and applying a stripe of red and a light pink. Make sure the two colors overlap in the middle for a beautiful gradient. Tap the color on the nail. I'm making two coats for a higher pigmentation. Carefully remove the tape and you're left with this beautiful heart. You don't have to use a sponge for this design if you want to create a heart with just one solid color. Finish the design with the fast drying top coat. I painted all my nails on my other hand with this technique. I love it because it's super cute yet extremely easy and fast to make. Let's move on to the strawberry design. Start off with any green polish you own and apply two coats of it all over your nail for a nice opaque result. First, we are making a strawberry leaf. Take a piece of a scotch tape and cut out a zigzag shape like me. It's better to make each triangle a bit different so it looks more realistic. Stick the tape on the upper part of the nail where you want the strawberry leaf to appear. On the rest of the nail, apply a red nail polish. Make sure it's pigmented enough to cover the green with just one coat. Quickly remove the tape and voila, you get a beautiful red strawberry. Now draw on small yellow stripes for that little extra. You can use a striper or a toothpick for this. I created this striper myself and you can find a DIY tutorial on my channel. Since my yellow polish is not that pigmented, I went over each stripe twice for a brighter result. Seal in your design with the fast drying top coat. How adorable is this design, right? I'm totally in love with it. For the third design, we are making these cool color blocking tiles. Let's start off with two coats of white for the base color. Having a good white nail polish is very important if you like making different nail art designs. I use it the most out of all polishes since it makes the perfect base and any polish on top looks much brighter. Cut three narrow stripes of tape and stick one along the middle of your nail and two on the sides like me. This way your tiles will be separated with precise white lines. Now choose two colors for the tiles. I went for two different blue shades, a lighter and a darker one. I'm applying the colors using a piece of sponge, but you can use a nail polish brush instead. I find that sometimes a brush can apply too thick layer of polish that dries quickly, making it difficult to remove the tape afterwards. But if you just use a thin coat, it should work fine. When all the parts are covered in colors, carefully remove the tape and you're left with this cool tiles effect on your nail. For even more interesting nail art, you can use more than two colors for the tiles. Remove any polish from your skin with a Q-tip soaked in acetone. Finally, go over with the fast drying top coat, which will bring your design together and make sure that it will last you longer without chipping. I think this design is really unique and so cool, since you can have loads of fun by switching up different colors for the tiles. Next, I'm making this cute bow design. You can use a striper if you're precise enough, but I find it's way easier using a tape. Apply two coats of any polish you want to begin with. Since this is a very girly and delicate nail art, I went for a light pink. Take a piece of a tape, stick it on a flat surface and draw a shape of a bow. 
I really like this tape since I can draw on it with a pencil, which allows me to sketch the design and even correct it if I make a mistake. Now it's time to cut the bow out. First I cut it in halves like so. This makes it really easy to cut out the rest of the shape. Small nail scissors work best for cutting such small and delicate pieces like these loops and tiny little straps which form a bow. When you're done cutting, stick the tape on your nail. I want my bow detail to be more towards the tip. Leave some space between each half of the bow to get a nice stripe across the nail. Again I'm using a sponge to apply a black color for the bow. Dip the sponge into polish and tap on the nail with it a few times. Then quickly remove the tape and you get a perfect bow. You can create any sorts of shapes this way and this is why a tape is such an awesome tool in nail art. Finally I'm applying two dots of light pink with the striper to finish up the bow design. Apply a layer of top coat and this sweet girly design is complete. Last but definitely not least is this pastel stripes design. It's so simple and easy to create but it looks absolutely adorable. Apply two coats of light pink to begin with. Cut four fairly narrow stripes of scotch tape and stick them along the nail so that the stripes are parallel one to another. Make sure that the spaces between them are of similar width. I like to stick the two side stripes first and then the middle ones. I'm creating the gradient stripes using pink and minty green polish. For a gradient effect we need to apply these colors on a piece of a beauty sponge. Tap it on the nail trying to cover the whole nail surface and then quickly remove the tape stripes. Look how lovely this manicure turned out. Finish the design with a layer of fast drying top coat and we're done. I enjoyed so much playing with the scotch tape and creating these beautiful nail art designs. It's amazing how many different creations you can pull off with the help of a tape. I think my favorite designs are tiles and pastel stripes. What are yours? If you want to see more nail art ideas, check out my galaxy and toothpick designs. Also, don't forget to share your recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Bye bye!